that's a ship. These asteroids look a bit different than the ones I'm used to, but they still have the ammunition. They're a bit longish. I don't know. Can we interact with this ship? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alert. Navigational data received. Oh. We have navigational data. But what about that thing? We can travel backwards. This is good. That's a space station. Let's visit the space station first. Well, they're real serious about the beacon. Okay, okay. Uh, they're, they're real serious about the beacon. I can visit the space station later. Let's go to the beacon. Arrive in indefinite. Come on, come on. Ooh, dark clouds. Okay, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Scorched planet. Planet. Well, that's no fun. I don't like scorched planets. Floating block of something. Got a floating block of something. So, what brought me here? Ow. And just a waypoint. This is new. Come on. No? Come on, that's definitely something to scan. That's it's it's more interested in a rock than this? Sometimes. Yeah, floating block of ice. Okay. Navigational data received. So there was a beacon, and now I've received more navigational data. They're really pushing me around, huh? Oh, there's an outpost there. Viking dagger. There's a rock in there. Temperature levels stabilizing. Ah, uh, plutonium we've got. Oh, it's iridium again. We're carrying plenty of iridium. More plutonium. That's just iron. Got a glow thing there. Find source of life signs. Okay, fine. Life is good. Oh, right, I can't go to... Okay, let's go back to my ship. This is a big cavern. I'm pretty darn lost, actually. I don't think a jetpack would help in this case. Okay, how do I get out of here?
Let's try those grenades. Okay, that did not work so well. Let me recharge the grenades. It seems fully charged. Oh, it has to be reloaded like that. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, it's right there. It's just that I, know I was lost in the cavern. I mean, I can always see from the marker where my ship is. But I was because I was in the cavern, I didn't know the way out of the cavern, so I um, I made my own way out. Well, this is not the most inspired planet either. Okay, well that's some interesting plant life. Um, now thank goodness it thinks that that's important, important anyway. And this? Badlands, all right, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me go over there. There's definitely a thing there. Now, are there any? There's no creatures on here, is there? Oh, there's a lot of creatures. There's ten creatures somewhere here. Hmm. We might have to hunt for creatures. I don't know about that one. Actually, uh, this is not how they look to me. Wait. It always skips the round things. There are, there are flying creatures, that's for sure. Oh, this is like a Nestus Egicus uh, or something like that. No, no, this is definitely, uh... Yeah, we, we've seen this before. This is a Nestus type thing. Egg... McMuffin. Nestus Egg McMuffin. Really? Okay, uh, so it must be a co uh, It's not just profanity, it's, it's copyright. Uh, I guess uh, they didn't want anything copyrighted or something. Egg McMuffin is copyrighted. Egiferous. Nice to say Egiferous. Okay. But uh, apparently there are critters on this planet, but I haven't seen any. Oh, exos exosuit upgrade. I got another slot. But 10,000? Yeah, sure. Oh, there's a creature. Hold on, let me let me scan the creature first. Oh, no, I've I've I found many creatures. It's just not on this planet. Too far away. There we go. Is that? Okay, that's two of them. Uh, let me save first, and then I will get a good, better look at them. Wow, this one's got a sort of baby face to it. Wait, what do you need to befriend you? How about a smaller one? Okay. Uh, two humped... 
two humped hornicus. Yeah. That's an annoying sound. Here, here, I can give you I can give you iron. I don't have actually I can't give you iron. I don't have enough iron. Your iron. Oh, that's carbon though. I guess we should scan this too. They claim it's a new discovery, it's not. Can I name it the same thing that I've renamed it? This this is Space Squash. It really is. Yeah, so we can name it something that's that shares the same name as before. Okay, so uh two um, horny, no, not horny. Uh, two humped. Ornithopter. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ooh, look! Hey, you wanted fish? They're fish in the sky. Ooh. I think we know what to call these. Oh, watch it. I... They're a grazing creature? I wonder how they managed that. Um... Airborne eels. Airborne eel. That's definitely what I think of them. So we've got airborne eels. Ooh, this one's creepy. Hold on. It's related to that other one that we saw. Let's see, what did we name that other one? Uh, it was on Seleucus and Kundus. Ostricus Hornsticky. Okay. It, it is another Hornsticky. Cumbrous Hornsticky. Angel Sharks is good. I'm gonna call this one... Cumbrous horn sticky. There's another creature here. No, not that. That's just a lump of iron. Okay, this is different too. Oh, I've already discovered that one? No, no. No, I have not. Okay, uh, these are interesting. Gordicus. Gordicus Trumpet. Um, hmm. That's definitely a zebra kind of thing. That's a messed up sort of six legs, spiky tail, ram's head. Zebra body. Ram spike.
Hexa zebra. Yes. Really? Okay. Really? Ram spike hexa zebra. Yeah, 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 I got the hex. I, I know, but spike tail spike. Ram. Zebra, hexa zebra. Hold on. Is it hexa zebra that we have a problem with here? Does it not like spike? Let me think like somebody who has a problem with words. Um, let's start with spike. Spike tail. Horned hexa zebra. There's no part of any of these words that's uh, profanity, right? Trying to look through them to see if there's anything. No. Okay. Let me just call it hexa zebra to see if that's the problem. Well, it's a hexa zebra now. That's a shame. So it's one of the other parts that's a problem. Spike tail, apparently. Okay, this. Hog's head shark walker. Yeah. Lump. This we've seen before. Um, probably on Seleucus Secundus. Yeah. And it's a Thamium Bulbus. We gotta make extra effort to uh, name things in accordance with uh, the fact if we've discovered them before, name them the same. That's gotta be a challenge, but we'll have to remember, yeah, we've seen this before, let's name it the same thing. What is. Oh, we've got stuff over there. Trade commodity. Well, let's move it out for now. No free slots in ship inventory. Okay. Get nip. Okay. Back to ship. Oh, there's more stuff here. But we need an atlas pass. Inventory full. No free slots in ship inventory. Right, right. Fine, just walk right in front of me, jeez. This is a round thing over there. So whatever else we know, copper in this universe is lighter than air. Or it's helium infused copper or something. No, there's another spot, but I'll pass on that. This isn't the first outpost I've been to. Okay, work get Bindal. 
Hmm. Let, let, let me interact with the trade terminal first. Demonstrate that I'm an intelligent creature who knows how to use these things. I guess I'll sell the aluminum? That's not all the aluminum, that's just the aluminum I have on me. Units received. Units received. Units received. This one was a high value curiosity. Units received. For some reason it's not giving me my starship inventory. I wonder if it's more valuable to manufacture stuff and then sell. Like manufacture some suspension fluid and then sell that. That's 20,000 a piece. Let's see. Should I manufacture stuff stuff before selling? Well, that's a thousand six hundred electron vapor. Well, no, I, this requires suspension fluid. I don't have it. Bypass chip three thousand five hundred plutonium ten iron ten. That's easy to figure out. Iron thir uh, so it's one hundred thirty eight units of iron. And 413. So that's like no more than 600. So that's a net plus for us. If we turn our iron and plutonium into bypass chips and then sell them, does it want to buy bypass? Let me see if it wants to buy bypass chips. No, I think it just sells them. Wait! It... Oh, it'll buy antimatter. Does it sell antimatter? I didn't notice that. Yes, it does. It sells it. I can buy antimatter. Okay, um, let me buy one. It's really expensive. They only have one. I don't know what this albumin pearl does. It's a trade commodity. Really expensive. Okay, let's talk to the guy. Maybe I should save first. Nah, let's go ahead. Oh, he's a geck. He's not part of the other species. The Corvax. A uh, lone creature awaits me. Diminutive. Beat. Beat? No, that's not what I call that. Unthreatening. It regards me with passing curiosity. Chatters briefly in a language I cannot comprehend. Yeah, I've learned no words of, words of Gek. Then passes me a slate. With a start, I realize that I can understand the text on it. In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but it has already turned away in disinterest. I suspect it is a mere courier, not the author of this message. The slate also contains a blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. Well, I'll take that blueprint. Okay, but... Um, oh, somebody else. That's a that's a good looking ship. What now? Met four aliens. Yes. Yes we have. Supervisor PETA. Whoa! Eyes. Now this one has a beak. Nineteen slots. Ah, uh, so close yet so far. Nope, can't get that. Oh, I haven't named this place yet. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that name is just not good. Let's see, what name... Somebody wanted from the Culture series, let's see. I haven't read the Culture series myself. But I think that's uh, that's a fine name for a planet. Okay, so rename. Ekronidal. Units 
The system. I'll just name it uh, based on the empire name. So Azad system. Okay. All right, on to the space station. Okay, whoa, 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 where's the entrance? Where's the entrance? Slow down, buddy. There it is. Oop, oop, oop. This way. Not too sure I like flying with a mouse, but oh well. That is an ugly, ugly ship with an ugly, ugly nose right there. Nope. I don't care how many slots, at what price that thing is. I'm not, I'm not flying such a thing. Buy antimatter from Galactic Trade Terminal. Guys, uh, these guys are a little bit behind the game telling me what to do. I've already bought antimatter from a galactic trade terminal. They clearly have not caught up with uh, where I'm at. But whatever. I already skipped the Atlas thing. I better not uh, annoy them too much. By the way, on foot exploration, 20,000 units, Rambler. Alien colonists encounter four so far. Words collected, 14. Most units accrued, 354,000, not much. No ships destroyed. Three sentinels destroyed. Uh, I don't know what the extreme survival is. Space Ex Exploration 1, I don't know what that refers to. I've gone to two systems. I've uh, visited uh, four worlds. Planet Zoology Scan. I guess that's a 100% completion thing or something like that. Oh well. Spy items. Aronium. It's got a little star on it too. Totally need to find sources of this Aronium and the other one that costs a lot really make the big bucks this antimatter costs more than it did from the last location but I, I better satisfy them okay so valuable items elements and yeah yeah okay I, I know that I can do that do I have to do that you gotta make me do that Nope. Atlas Pass. Huh. <sighs> okay, okay, I'll do that. Jeez. I've been doing that the whole time, but I guess I'll sell this Corvax casing. Time to fuel the hyperdrive. What kind of ship is this? Oh boy. That's a lopsided ship. But, you know, uh. Asymmetry does have a certain amount of class in this case. Employee. First time I've seen somebody who's just titled employee. And I know no words. Let's see. 19 slots. Too expensive. That is a tiny little bug. Wait, this one. I mean, I can't afford anything, let's face it. 
Resource Analyst. Oh, 21 slots. This tiny little thing has 21 slots? It's expensive, too. This sort of looks more like a space truck, a proper space truck. This one's 21 slots as well, but too expensive. Okay. Right, hyperdrive, warp cell. Boy, those warp cells only charge up to 20%. That's a, it's expensive to jump from system to system. Hmm. I'm gonna make a... Well, I won't make a backup warp cell just yet. Well, I mean, it just takes the place of the antimatter, so I guess I might as well. And there's nothing else I use the antimatter for right now. Okay, let's go to another planet in this system. And this time we need to get credits. Well, let's go to one right in front of us. Where's the one that we explored before? There. Okay, let's go. I hope this one's a little bit different. Well, that's a lot of green right there. Whoa. Oh, there's a place, there's a place. I think I should probably wrap it up soon, too. Boop. Creature. That looks like a normal sort of creature, too. I'll, I'll leave that be. I haven't come up with a name for that. That is one very suspicious looking structure. Isn't it? That cube? That's a heck of a structure. Oh, this is sort of a platform, huh? They didn't want to make it easy on me here. There aren't any stairs here? That's just it's just breaking the law right there. Whoa, whoa, no, no. Okay, down. Okay. Recharge. Phew. Bypass chip required to call Starship. I don't need to call my Starship. It's right down there. Where is the thing that says I've discovered this place? Okay, this is a toxic world. I picked the best worlds, don't I? Why don't I get the paradise worlds, huh? I, the starship is not out of range, by the way. Toxic protection. Stabilizing. 
You don't say. The small creature is busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Excuse me. Its eyes open wide in anticipation of our first contact. It rubs its fingers together greedily. It picks emphatically at the monetary figures on its pad, then bounces up and down. I can't help but notice that it smells... It smells amazing. Pat the life form on the head? No, that might not be great. Apologize for being able, unable to help. Well, it's... I think it'll like units. Life form is clearly thrilled. It gives me something in exchange. Phase beam. Okay, so I can make a phase beam weapon and mining tool. I could do with uh, maybe more zinc. Before I set out, I want to make sure that I can survive. Item received. And sure, I'll buy that carbon too. What's that sound? Is it like raining? It doesn't look like it's raining. If it's supposed to be raining, it should look like it. There's something over there. Hmm. Oh, that just seems like a normal glow. What about this place? No, oh, this looks pretty normal too. I saw a definite... Definitely interesting... Well, let me get this iron. Well, there's there's a s knowledge stone. I haven't learned any get words. Oh, there's a technology thing. Oh shoot. Toxic protection falling. Okay, well that that deserves to be named. Uh, Fungi Sphericus. Sphericus, yeah. Units received. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I haven't found an emerald rich plant yet. No. Pulse Jet Sigma. But this is an interesting place. It has these these blocks. Here. There's a it's a cube behind there. A cavernous cube. I mean, this totally looks excavated. I don't know what did this. But, uh, I mean... This is pretty... Interesting. Okay, what is this? I'm god Whoa, that that those shadows did not look right. Why are the shadows like stuttery? Okay, hold on. Fungi Cinnabonus. Units received. Gold! I'll take gold. Shroom, yes, shroom, shroom, yes, grandis. Units received. There we go. Let's 
spike. Units received. Toxic protection falling. Okay, that's 250. And we don't have any room over here right now. What's that block there? That's probably the knowledge stone. Okay. Get word forgive. That's important. Toxic protection falling. Muddled. That's an interesting location right there. How far am I from my ship, though? There's uh, another interesting icon there. But otherwise, whoa, whoa! There's a big thing. Oh dear, that's a big two-legged thing. Oh, how about these little critters? Have I done those yet? Units received. Nope. Uh, we, we need to take a look at that. That's that thing. A lot of horns in this game. I have to say a lot of creatures have horns. Legus Maximus. Yeah, it is sort of satyr-like, yeah. Actually, that would have been a better name, but... They sort of top out at 5 meters here. Hmm, that... Striped... Wild Hound. I think that's fair. Okay, saving. 